Welcome to Top Deck Heroes, everybody. Hi, guys. This is the final night of the Mega Man Battle for Power set release, or set review set re show. Set review. Yeah. Baka. <laughs> and so last night we ended on a bombshell with uh, Scorch Wheel, the card that's going to break the format. And tonight we're going to pick up with Turbo Slam. And Kevin Broberg, because yes. it is an odd numbered card, you get to read it. Alrighty. So this is a four difficulty, three control, three speed mid for five, slam with combo slam, and a plus two high block. And its ability is combo enhance. Add one foundation you could normally play from your hand to your staging area. So the first card this reminds me of really strongly is Cat Spike, which has been, you know, not quite a competitive staple. It has been, like, seen broad play, but it's, it's, I mean, it's a powerful card to be sure, and this substitutes a if this deals damage for a combo trigger. So your J Talbanes, your I don't know Magnet Slam decks, your people who want to play a lot of slams might really like this card as an additional way to cheat some foundations into play. And everyone else maybe won't be the most enthused by it because it's a three speed mid, and that's really tough to get through. Uh, it's gonna be great in draft though. Yeah, this card is at common. Uh, people are gonna be playing it in draft. Common slams are all over the place in this set. So, I mean, I, I can't think of many characters in this in this set, Kevin, that I would be disappointed to try in draft and limited. I feel like every, every time I say this guy is going to be great in draft, I feel like I said that about almost every character. So, yeah. and this card is just going to really help Turbo Man. Yep, I think Turbo and Man attacking is good. Going to be really happy just to have a card. You know, Turbo Man really loves this card because it's a, it's for him it's a five speed mid because you can cheat a card down and then immediately commit it and for his pump, and that's really great for him. Uh, for everyone else, mm -hmm. you want you want to be doing something really great with this before you you're you're gonna sign up. But if you've got something really great, it might be the perfect thing. I mean, I think this is a solid common, and I think overall, you know, the set is full of solid commons, especially for people just getting into the game. Yeah. If, like if I had to make a recommendation of somewhere to start right now, I would say Battle for Power. Yeah, if you're the not playing against the set's gonna be legal for a long time. Like decks full of powerful assassins and Templars and ever hopefuls, three speed mids are just fine. And a character like J. Talbane is perfectly happy about his three speed mids. Oh yeah. Or anyone with anyone with big speed pumps, you know, you can just just play solid UFS, make your opponent tap out to block it, and then punish them or whatever you want to do. Exactly. I, I mean, I, every, I, everything I, in this set just seems super solid. Yeah, I think I agree with you that this is a an excellent set to get started with the game in. All right. And it's an on. excellent drafting set. Let's move on though, because we're not even talking about the card no more. A uh, hi-fi stereo. I, I, I got to share a little bit of the story behind this card, Kevin Broberg. I was helping uh, design the... Uh, come up with names for cards in this set. And for those of you who are old enough to remember, Mega Man 7 came out in like 1996 or 97. So right in the middle of the 90s. And I, I wanted to think of a card that would have a card name that was like the most 90s thing ever. And hi-fi stereo is what came to mind. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, hi-fi means it stands for high fidelity, which just better sound quality. Uh, I love the art. I can't talk enough about the art in this card before I actually get to what this card does. Just Turbo Man jamming out to his own stereo, which is awesome. So it's a 2-5 with a plus 3 mid block. It's unique. Has all life and void. Has gender male response, your turn commit. After a foundation is added to your staging area, your opponent discards a card. Gender male is going to be all over everything in his support, I think, because uh, certain people who hosted the show did recently take Athena to a championship and went like eighteen and one with her, and his stuff is would be bonkers good with her, I think. Even though it's it's already bonkers good, but I think it'd be just off the rails with her. Uh, you know, I really like this card. It's more discard in the set. Uh, Void really, really made out like a bandit with this card. And not like Tim Keefe, you know, training wheels discard. This is like the real deal. Making your opponent discard a card after adding a foundation to your staging area, this is going to combo great with the card we just previewed, Turbo Slam. Mm. Because, yeah. yes, it might be a three-speed mid, but if they're down a card, and maybe it was their last card, they're going to take five after you get a free foundation. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I definitely think this, this card will see a bunch of play. Uh, Athena's teammate C will be really happy to play with this card. Uh, since he plays his first form and triggers it, and often you might see C decks that are using Psycho Medley 13, and then they can drop this down and immediately trigger it that way too, as well as, as you mentioned, Turbo Man can cheat it in, or anyone playing Turbo Slam can cheat it in and then immediately trigger itself. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a fun card. Uh, 
I, I, I'm a little worried about discard, although this is a unique with a bit of a, a hoop to jump through. And I like hoops to jump through, so I'm a little torn. But I think you'll see a, um, a number of helpless people playing six hand size characters just getting savaged by uh, the, the barbarian hordes. Yeah. Yeah, th this card, it has an interesting... It's two hoops. I mean, first you have to add a foundation to your staging area, and your character has to have a penis. So, two hoops to jump through. <laughs> well, they have to identify Great. as male anyway. It's not... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving on. Fair enough. This isn't North Carolina. We don't check to see what equipment's actually installed. <laughs> so, no airbags <laughs> is a two difficulty, four control, plus three mid-block foundation... And it has no played abilities. It only has, quote, static effects. Uh, it's when, it's committed, when committing cards to pass a check, committing this foundation counts as committing two foundations. But after you commit this foundation to pass the check to play a non-attack card, destroy it. So <gasps> It's green! This is a callback to one of the first foundations ever created in UFS called Green, or Beginner's Luck. Uh, it basically rewards you for attacking and punishes and allows you a uh, to sacrifice it for the greater good in uh, a, a high pressure scenario. Um, you can block with attack cards and count this as two, which is great. Um, there's a lot of people who can, you know, there's a lot of times where your opponent might even have a revoke or a damnation or something, and they can cancel it or a speed reset, and this just bypasses all of that. It just counts as two. Um, yeah, I think it's a it's a it's a solid card. You'll see a lot of it. It's a, it's a good rare to have, but it's not um, completely mm -hmm. overwhelming. Well, the thing is, no airbase isn't game breaking. I don't think the format's going to divulge into an awful air wall like cesspool because of no airbags. But I think most decks that can run this card, especially ones that like to attack early, are going to run it. Yep. It's it's a four check, but it's only two difficulty, and it's got our commit for plus two to attacks. Yeah, and if you check, so, if you play a five difficulty card and check a five, uh, check a three. This makes up for its four check right away. Like if you check a three and then a four, you know it's the same as if you checked a five and a three. 